to get here, my uh, mother called A&E Intervention and they did an intervention on me. And in the intervention, uh, it was my mother, my children, my stepfather, my dad. At first I was mad because it was betrayal, they tricked me, you know, that kind of thing. But, it, you know, instantly that inner uh, wanting help came out and I was very accept you know, acceptive of getting the help. Then they sent, sent me here to this beautiful place, so I'm uh, taking all I can get from it. I didn't expect the, the level of care, the level of uh, um, sincerity that they have here. They truly do want to help. And the one thing that stands out to me the most, and a lot of addicts will agree with me, is another addict can help an addict better than somebody that's got book smarts or somebody that's just coming in to do their job, you know, and that's never been an addict, don't understand. Um, so, and I think it's like 75, 80% of the staff here, even the cooks, I mean, some of the nurses, all are addicts. And I think that helps a lot of people here because they understand. The staff here, they challenge me and it's good. It's helped me. They don't bring their stuff from home. Like if they're having issues at home, you don't see it. They, when they get here, they mean business. They want to help you. And, and, if, and if you're doing something that's, you know, addictive behavior or anything like that, they'll call you on it. And that's what we need. You know, we're, you know addicts are great manipulators. We'll manipulate anybody. The food is awesome. I know I wasn't eating that good out there. You know, I'd eat once a day, if that. And the, when I got here, the food is just awesome. The cooks here are five-star chefs, uh, and, and it's, they, they do their job. I think it's actually better than most restaurants you go to. You know, them removing the sugars from our foods and uh, the diet that we're on does boost our dopamine, and that's what we need. We've been depleting that for, like me, I've been depleting it for 20 years. Um, I've been using it for 20 years, and it, like, I haven't laughed like I do now in all those years put together. I mean, and I've only been here a month, so it's really good. It's, it's fun to be around everybody laughing, and uh, when I got here, I didn't care about myself. I, you know, I could share this with you. I, I uh, was on the table dead twice month before I got here. So that kind of give you an idea of how I didn't care about myself. I don't love myself. Since I've gotten here, I'm loving myself more and more every day. I expected it to be like the place I was at before, and I don't know if it was, I, I shouldn't say it was them. It could have been me not wanting it as bad as I do now. Um, I didn't learn much at the other place. I've learned more here in the first two weeks than I did there the whole time I was there. I don't want to sound negative at all, but I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's very painful. Uh, but it does teach you to be humble. It does teach you to be patient. It does, I mean, because us addicts, we're not patient. We want it now, <laughs> you know. To describe it to somebody, it's not, it's not fun. It's not vacation. It's, it's, it's to work on yourself. And I couldn't describe it any other way because if you're not doing it, you know, there's a lot of people that go into treatment for their kids or, or for their marriage or, you know, whatever, whatever it is out there, you know, that they want to get better for. You got to do it for yourself. I firmly believe in that. We learn tools. We do groups. A big thing that helps me is we go to meetings every day, outside meetings, and uh, hearing other people go through what we've gone through helps a lot. Um, so that's a big deal. Uh, tools that I've learned, though, are, like I said, patience, uh, listening. So we don't like to listen all the time. Learning to not be in control. That's a big one for me. Like today, I found out that I'll be getting a divorce when I get out of here. That was rough to hear. But if I was out there, I would have used. So... It's a big thing. I've learned that, uh, that I can be a leader instead of a leader out on the street. I can be a leader positively. Um, that I'm a good guy. I didn't think I was a good person because I was always focused on my past. Um, 
forgiveness. My children, my mother, they've all forgiven me for what I've done. And it's, it's, it's something that I'm still processing, but yeah. Um, if I don't complete this one, I lose my children, I lose my mother, and they will bury me, basically um, have a funeral and not, will never talk to me again. So consequences is a big one for me. Some of the other, there's only a couple people here that have consequences that are even close to that. But yeah, I'd say it's painful. It's, uh, it's definitely a lifesaver though, because I wouldn't be alive if I wasn't here today. And that's the truth.